for this type of problem, we're just going to graph like we normally would and figure out where the graph is zero in the interval from negative 10 pi to 12 pi. So first we need to find all our typical points of interest. We need our amplitude, which is the absolute value of the A term, which is equal to 6. Our K term is 0. So our max occurs at 0 plus our amplitude, which is 6. Our min occurs at 0 minus our amplitude. Okay. Now our period occurs at 2 pi over the absolute value of the number in front of x, that's 1 over 6. And that's equal to 12 pi. So our interval is going to be 12 pi over 4 or 3 pi. So I have all my points of interest here. Now I'm going to find the domain. Remember for the domain, I want to put my new, my transformation in the old domain. And I will solve for x. So I'm going to subtract pi over 12 from both sides. So this is negative pi over 12. And I have x over 6. And then I have uh, 24 pi over 12 minus pi over 12. So that's 23 pi over 12. Then I'm going to multiply both sides by 6. So I'm going to have negative pi over 2 and 23 pi over 2. And the, this is, of course, my domain for one period. So I'm, I'm going to graph this like I normally would, but I'm going to have to extend it beyond one period. So this in one period this is negative pi over 2 now adding my interval length of 3 pi well that's really 6 pi over 2 so I have negative pi over 2 I have 5 pi over 2 I have 11 pi over 2 I have 17 pi over 2 and then I have 23 pi over 2 and this is all in one period. I have my five points. Remember, for sine graphs, it always starts at the horizontal axis. So this will start at the point zero. Then at five over two, because this is negative sine, it's going to go down to the minimum. So this is negative six. Then back to the horizontal axis. Then up to the max then back to the horizontal axis. So, already I have three zeros up to 12 pi, which is 24 pi over 2. Now I have to go into the left direction, and I'm going to show that next. Alright, one period, remember, start at the horizontal axis, which is 0. Then because it's negative, go down to min, horizontal axis, max, horizontal axis. Now, I have to go to the left direction, and so instead of adding 6 pi over 2, now I'm going to subtract 6 pi over 2. So this is negative 7 pi over 2, negative 13 pi over 2, negative 19 pi over 2. And it just kind of follows the same pattern. Because I came from the minimum 
to, to horizontal axis. Now I need to go to my max, then horizontal axis, and then min. So this is what the graph would look like. And you'll notice that my zeros uh, occur. And remember, my interval is from negative 10 pi to 12 pi. And those zeros occur, well, negative 10 pi is just negative 20 pi over 2. And so that's uh, to the left of negative 19 pi over 2, but it's, it's not a zero. And the same thing with 24 pi over 2. It's, it's just slightly to the left of 23 pi over 2, but it's, it's, not, it, it's not one of our interval lengths. So the zeros in the given interval uh, would be here. It would be at negative 13 pi over 2, negative pi over 2, 11 pi over 2, and 23 pi over 2. And that those four points would be the answer.